हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे सेशन इज हाउ टू क्रिएट ओन डीएलएल फाइल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर क्रिएटिंग दिस फाइल इन द विजुअल स्टूडियो 2013 सो ओपन विजुअल स्टूडियो 13 एंड क्रिएट न्यू प्रोजेक्ट जस्ट क्लिक ऑन फाइल न्यू एंड प्रोजेक्ट नाउ एज इट इज अ लाइब्रेरी टाइप ऑफ स्टफ देर इज नो यूजर इंटरफेस वी शुड जस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ सेलेक्टिंग द प्रोजेक्ट टाइप This is not web application, nor desktop application. It's a library type project. So you select Visual C Sharp, and if you can find here, there is a project type, class library. So to create the LL file, we should create uh, class library project. Let me give you the library name. So by this name, your LL file would be generated. So let me give uh, my LL. So I'm giving the project name my LL. Fine. So this would be the namespace. Uh, namespace of your uh, DLL file. So, if someone want to use uh, this namespace, is to be considered. Okay. So, let me create. Uh, okay. Now, see process is going on. Uh, so, once you know DLL project is created, you can see that there is a class one dot cs file. And again, let me repeat: uh, the DLL project does not have any user interface. so uh, and again class 1 i don't required so whatever the default skeleton is given to you that you can remove and you can create your own so let me remove this file uh, delete and do okay now uh, let me add one more class file mm, say like uh, uh, functions or mylib mylib is a class where i want to provide the facility to is from two numbers and three numbers and uh, i'll create dll file and i'll use this dll file either in the web or wpf or any other project okay so let me just add class file here and the name of class here i'm giving mylib so mylib is the class will treated as a built in class once you uh, add reference this dll file okay so just add this uh, see here under the my namespace my dll there is a class mylib Uh, so here you can add uh, uh, some attributes if required and some methods so let me write here first thing is i am going to use this class out of this namespace somewhere in the windows application so the class must be public hmm? let me tell you whenever you you uh, add any class uh, in project the namespace would be the project type and as a result you can access the class in any of the page in the project current project but here the scenario is different the project is my dll and the class file that you have created here uh, the mylib.cs is accessible only within the my dll if you will not put up the public keyword so the access modifier is required to write public because your intention is this would be accessible outside the namespace also so let me create one static method you can create no you can apply your all object oriented fundamentals here but specifically i want to create two methods maximum from two number and maximum from three number and that's why i'm creating static where i don't require any attribute so public static uh integer let me say max and uh, integer a comma integer b and you can just create uh, the method and code write code so as you know that the code is a greater than b i know greater is a so written a else written b so method is ready similarly you can add another method so let me add one more method so i am using using you know method overloading concept here so i am not going to change the method name but i'll pass three arguments so method overriding overloading concept you know it is known to you i am not going to discuss much but let me just change the code and uh, here you can write else if b greater than c written b else written c i hope uh, this code is understood to you so two methods are ready now everything is fine only one task is left as many classes you want you can add it you know in solution explorer here you can add another class also mylib1 mylib2 math edio.net as you like you know you can add the number of classes just by clicking here but once you are object oriented code or the frequently usable code is ready you can just build the project just go to the build and say build solution and just look at the task bar where you can see uh, process is going on finally it is succeed 
so you should know where the dll file is created it is ready now dll file is build up so where exactly it is so let me just check where was my project uh, where did i store it so just go file menu uh, save as you will come to know the folder name so this is so this is my project name e colon dot net example mvc and my dll so let me go to the you know file system now uh, e colon then dot net lecture example mvc examples and my dll so this is your source code but as you know that you no know, whenever you build any solution uh, there will be a bin debug folder so you just go to the bin folder you will file your dll file see that's done so i'll show you now how to use this dll file in the other project so let me just uh, copy this file uh, and paste it somewhere in the desktop so no would be easy to re refer it so dll file is ready so let me create one web application now or uh, windows application let me create windows application uh, windows form application the name is windows application 1 just do okay as you know that by default form 1.cs will appear so here no i want to use that file uh, uh, dll file in this project so you know that how to add dll file just go to references add add references and you add dll file in your project so do you know where your dll file is so just click on the browse button uh, go to the desktop and see you will find dll file there we have just copied just add it let's see by default it is selected and say okay so you can see that uh, one dll file is added here fine my dll so if i want to use that here what should i do so let me just do one example to find is from two number so i'm just going to put button here when i click it it will give me the uh, is from two fixed constant so let me just click on it and uh, once it is added reference file once the reference file is added you can uh, add the namespace also system using uh, not system directly my dll uh, it's it's not built in dll so just add the namespace my dll now you can see here you can find my lib class see can you see that now my lib dot maximum say maximum method is there when you will just open it shows there are two methods one is with the two argument other is with uh, three arguments so now okay, let me give just 10 and 30 here and it it is going to return integer value so let me convert into string dot to string and uh, let me just display in the message box because my purpose is just to access this method not any other uh, intention so i am just going to use the message box message box dot show okay task is over now so let me run this project and when you click button 1 uh, it should give 30 because highest among this 10 and 30 is 30 so let me run this project now and as you can see uh, in the form 1 uh, button 1 is there let me click this and see got 30 that's done thank you for watching uh, the video how to create dll file thank you